uh, welcome to this week homework. This week is uh, Thanksgiving week, so uh, I'm going to give you guys a break. You work really hard. Um, the homework will be a little simpler, easier than usual, because we are at the end anyway of our work. Uh, you guys did a fantastic job. It is not an easy class. It is a lot of work. Uh, but now you understand and appreciate in more depth the work of those artists in those video games. As you understand now how hard it is, how constraining the machine and softwares are, um, and how short in time they are usually. Now, so you got your object, your 3D object. Uh, it is textured. It is animated. It is ready almost to go. So this week, uh, Thanksgiving is on Thursday. You have only two or three days. Um, I'm not going to make you work during Thanksgiving, as I said. Uh, what I'm going to make you do is, um, your next project is to simply prepare and export properly your mesh. To do so, uh, you are going to do a couple things. All right, so let us see as the different rules we need to do, what we need to do. We need to clean up our mesh using the cleanup tool with the no manifold option selected. I'll show you that in a couple seconds. We want to make sure the edges you want soft have been softened. And you want to make sure the selected mesh, you know, that you select your mesh and export as an FBX. But also, before that, I apologize right here. That would be four. We need to do three also, which is triangulate the mesh. All right, because only um, Unreal, UDK, and uh, Unity uh, takes a quad mesh, but they don't really take quad mesh. They will import your quad mesh and then triangulate them themselves and then use them as triangles, basically. Uh, but they don't do a really good job about it, so you're better off doing it yourself. Okay, so let's see how we're going to do that. First, we're going to finalize our mesh, um, you know, by cleaning it up using the non-manifold option in the cleanup tool. So select your mesh. All right, make sure you are not in animation anymore, but back to polygon. All right, and you have a couple menus right here, as usual for your mesh. The first one, mesh, you go all the way to optimize and clean up. Right here. That's your main option. Make sure you reset it. All right, so you don't have any uh, things that you don't want. And what you're going to do, you're going to go all the way down to non-manifold geometry. That's it. And you want to make sure that normals and geometry option is selected. Then you click on apply. And the fantastic job done by that student actually is that nothing changed. You have no color that appeared. All right. And if you look in the script editor right here, it is his job, all right, and there was no item to clean up. It means that the job was perfect. Um, there was no, no manifold faces or anything like that. So this is really good. Now you will see if your mesh is not perfect, it will fix it up. And what has been fixed is going to turn uh, orange with the outline blue. Okay? Now after you've done that, there's nothing to do beside that actually. You're going to close it up, you know, and now you're going to make sure certain of the edges are softened. All right? All right, so let's uh, round up just uh, the end of it right here. So what we do, we'll select the faces right here like that. Make sure that's all we have selected. And then we go to the normal options, and we say soften edges. It will make it rounder. It will look rounder. It's an effect, but it will look rounder. All right. Now, you might have now, all right, uh, make sure you retweak a little bit uh, your map sometimes in the UV texture editor because it might get uh, a little lost on the edge right here. So what you do, you select that edge, you look where it is, you know, right here, and you go to the UVs. You see they're a little too tight, so you bring them in a little bit like that, and same thing on the other side, bring them in a little bit like that, so you don't get the glow. And then like that, you'll have no problem. All right? You have to even adjust it a little bit more than that, actually. Like that. So you don't have any of those problems.
Oops, I missed one right here. No right idea. I went very fast, but you take a little bit more time and you see it'll go away. All right. So now and you got to do that for all of them. Now, okay. So you're here. It's all clean. Everything is almost ready to go. What you need to do now is triangulate your mesh. Okay. This is very important. Also, you need to move the pivot point. This is the pivot point right here. Okay. That one is well located right there. But sometimes, let me show you. Um, it is located, let's say, right here. It is important that you move the pivot points back down to where it's going to be handing in the hand. All right. So you click on insert on your keyboard and bring it down all the way to the bottom right here. All right. Adjust it properly so it's at the point. And when it's adjusted, click on insert again on your keyboard to get the pivot point located properly. And now. You ready to go to do the final step, uh, the triangulation of the mesh. Select your mesh, go to mesh, and click on triangulate. Bing, that's it. So if you had any quads or anything like that, they are all gone. Uh, if you had even fibers, they're gone because actually that's going to triangulate them in two. In a, you know, so you'll be good to go. Now, one more step, and you are done with those projects. You will have a final test the next week but that's pretty much it for projects you go to file export selection and your mesh need to be selected and in the option you're gonna go down here and you're gonna select FBX so you scroll down scroll down it's right here FBX export give it a name blah 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 and save your export Right, you click export now before you do that though before you save let's go a little bit in the options uh, it's all good here include options no you don't want any of that that's good um, you want the geometry smooth mesh you're good that's all you need uh, usually you don't have to uh, add anything besides if you're playing with animations you don't have any animation here but it's okay um, so it's all good to go and just export it now if you can't find the FBX export selection it does happen. It's not there. All right. It's actually um, very simple. What happened is it hasn't been turned on. So you need to go into the... Um, let me see that right here. Uh, let me give me just a sec. All right. So you got to go into the window. Setting and preferences. And then you go to the plugin manager right here. And in the plugin manager, you're just going to scroll until you find FBX. And it's got to be somewhere. Let me see, where is mine? Mine is already activated, so I'm good to go on that. Let me see where it is. Hold on. Right here. Autodesk. Right here. FBX Maya. You click on loaded and auto load so it'll auto load itself when you start Maya next time. Close it and export your mesh. That mesh right here with the texture needs to be zipped, uploaded to the Dropbox as usual, and then also you need to take a screenshot of it and upload it to the forum when it is triangulated, obviously. It has been fun to be with you guys. Um, the week after Thanksgiving, you will have a couple days only, um, four days, uh, something like that. You will uh, be taking a test. Uh, you will have a final test that covers exactly what the book and what all the lectures have covered since the beginning, 2D and 3D. Uh, so um, I will make a little um, video that talks about the questions and what to um, study uh, for the, and review um, for that test. Thank you again for your work. I know it's a lot of work, but now you're going to chill a little bit and you've learned so much uh, in, the, in the game industry. Um, I've seen a lot of really good work, and I hope to see you guys in my next class, my modeling class. Uh, my, you know, it's a very important class for you guys. In that class, we are modeling uh, trees, uh, grass, grounds, building, and even make your own character completely from the ground up. And it's also 
textured. Um, have a good one and have a thanks. Uh, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. <laughs>